What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Les Alex here, and today we're going to be talking about five basketball cards that I'm going to be targeting during the NBA offseason. Shout out to LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and the Lakers organization for bringing home their 17th championship. Pretty cool stuff. That bubble was pretty awesome, pretty interesting games. I'm really excited, though, for next year, and these are going to be my five cards I'm targeting. So if you guys do enjoy this one, make sure to slap it with a like, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button because I'm coming out with new videos almost every single day here on the channel about sports and sports cards, from basketball to soccer to baseball. Pretty much got it all here on the channel, and about 200 videos worth of content that you guys can go check out right up there. All right, so with all that fun stuff out of the way, let's get into this one. And number five, it's going to be none other than LeBron James. Yeah, I have to I have to give it up to him. LeBron James, his cards, obviously very, very expensive. But if you know where to look and you know which ones to look at, they're going to be relatively inexpensive and very affordable, especially after they dip here coming into the off season. We are here on cardladder.com using their app, their tool. And so first off, like I said, LeBron James, I do think his cards are gonna be really nice to get. In this video, I'm not gonna say, you know, I'm not saying I'm going out and buying rookie cards or anything like that. In this video, like you can see, it's gonna be the 2018 Optic LeBron James Base. This is the PSA 10 version. If you're going for any of these cards, you can also go for them in RAW or even 9. But for this specific one, we're gonna be looking at the PSA 10. This one, it's just a great image. This is his first year as a Laker, so not this season, but it was last season. And the card has put up a strong, strong profit margin if you bought low and sold high. Let's take a look at the stats and the graph down below. So way, way back, let's not even go that far back. Let's go here. So this is on 4320. You could have bought this PSA 10 LeBron James optic for 65 bucks, right? And then up here at the peak, at the tippy top, 8 5 2020 it sold for 583 dollars guys 583 bucks that is a insane profit margin um and if you compare it to its one year total from way back over here from 1029 to now where it's selling for 200 bucks that's a growth rate of 441 percent beautiful that's what we love to see even at three months obviously you can tell a lot of these cards will have downward downward rate of growth um, and that's because the season's over you know people are starting to focus their money in different sports mainly football soccer and so on so i think when you're looking at these cards you're going to be able to get them for a fraction of the price you know right up here this was kind of in its heyday you know even right here this 9320 400 bucks i think if you can get this thing between 175 200 dollars that's going to be a fine price i would even maybe wait a couple of weeks longer because there is still the hype wait for the hype to die down maybe you can snag these things for 150 i mean i'm, I'm not projecting any thing i'm not trying to guess what this price will be but i would say if it gets to 150 this is going to be an automatic buy so that's LeBron. That's the Optic. Again, this is the Optic PSA 10 2018. Don't be confused. Not the 2019. That's his second year. It's not going to be nearly as valuable. All right. Next up at number four is going to be Kyrie Irving, LeBron's teammate from a couple of years ago. Kyrie Irving in a very interesting position. Kevin Durant, obviously, on the Nets. But now they're finally going to get to actually play together. It'll be really interesting to see if they can be the powerhouse that I believe they can be in the East. Of course, Kyrie's pretty much done it all already in his career. He's an all-star. He's going to have, like I said, KD back. And I believe the Nets could potentially be a front runner in the East. 
So for Kyrie Irving, we're going to be looking at his 2012 Prism base. This is the PSA 9 version. This is the one I'm going to be focusing on. This is the one I'm going to be taking a look at. If you want to look at the 10 or raw, feel free to. But for this video, again, this is what I'm focusing on. This is the PSA 9. As you can see, the rate of growth over the last three months, we go back to 714. It was 215, $215. It currently sits at 255. That is a rate of growth of 18%. Pretty decent. I do see this dropping slightly as we lose focus of the NBA and as it's kind of put in the back burner of people's minds. I could see this, you know, I don't know, 150 ish, but there's been 32 sales over the last three months so not a crazy amount of sales you know of course like i said kd coming back i think that team is going to be in a good position to really compete in the east and try and do something in the playoffs it'll be interesting but i'm excited for this kyrie card you know kyrie always has something to say and like i say all the time i'd rather have a guy that is in the media a lot that has something to say and has his own personal brand than somebody i mean obviously mike trout's kind of a weird comparison but mike trout just doesn't say much could you imagine if he was outspoken like Kyrie or even like bryce harper i mean dude would dude would be ridiculous <laughs> anyways Kyrie irving he has a brand he's a bit out there in some of his views <laughs> but Regardless, I could see this thing being a big money maker, especially if KD comes back super strong next year and they make a deep playoff run. All right, so at number three, I'm going to talk about Brendan Ingram. Brandon Ingram, a guy, his PSA 10 went crazy this season um, in the bubble. He finally gets to play with Zion. So for those reasons and some more I'm going to talk about, I want to be targeting Brandon Ingram. Let's head on over to Card Lad and I'll show you what's up with him. So for Brandon Ingram, I'm going to be looking at his 2016 PSA 10. This is the optic. This is the base. Um, again, you look at the nines, look at the raw. You can go both ways. But Brandon Ingram and, of course, the Pelicans, like I said, Zion, going to be hopefully healthy, hopefully healthy. Um, and he's going to really get to showcase what he can do. Obviously, his stats last season speak for themselves. 23 points, 6 boards, 4 assists. We'll see if that rebound goes up or down next year with Zion there. But nevertheless, I do think Brandon Ingram is the real deal. Let's take a look at his 3-month sales chart. This one, pretty flat. As you can see, the rate of growth is actually negative. But again, like I said on LeBron, a lot of these cards will kind of be trending downward. So let's take a look back on 7-13-2020. You could have bought this thing for 155 bucks. Most recently, it's 126 Guys, this is one of those cards. If this gets into that $75, even $100, I think this is a buy all day. As you can see right here at the peak, it sold for $245. Now, are you ever going to be that person that sells at the top at the most high point? No, probably not. But even still, if you sell here at $208 or even right here at $171, if you're buying in at $75 or $100, bucks, you are making a decent profit. I really like the Pelicans game. I think if they can get Zion healthy, I mean, they could at least make a push for the playoffs. I'm not going to say they're going to win the NBA Finals or anything, but I do like them as a nice young team. And Brandon Ingram, if they do have success, I do think he's going to be he's going to be one of those guys that is going to help propel them to the playoffs. At number two on my list for this offseason, it's going to be Trey Young. Trey Young's cards were on fire earlier in the year and, of course, in the bubble. It's really exciting to see what his cards can do, but I definitely believe there's going to be some opportunities to pick him up real cheap, relatively speaking, here in the offseason. So on Trey Young, we're going to be looking at the 2018 
prism. This is the base PSA 10. Take a look at the nines, take a look at the raws, but this is the base PSA 10. We know he's a gamer, obviously. Atlanta is kind of coming up in their own, but still, this PSA 10, let's take a look at it. It's peak right up here. It peaked out at $683 this past season. He's an exciting young player. We've seen what this card can do. If you look at over the last three months, there's been 346 sales. So off the bat, we know, we know that he is a popular player. This card is being sold and bought quite frequently. So let's take a look way back on 713, one sold for 333, $333. Like I said, at its peak, it sold for 683. And then its most recent one, according to Card Ladder, sold for 442, $442.50. That is a 34% growth rate. Um, and obviously at its peak, 689 that's that's insane that's great money um this card again you get it down to 400 bucks i could see that being i that's definitely a buy to me for that reason i think you know trey young we're looking at the signs this data tells us something what does it tell us it tells us that 346 sales in three months that is a lot of completed sales on ebay so for that reason trey young he's an exciting young player he's swaggy yeah he's got his own brand he's kind of swaggy we know what he's about for that reason trey young gotta be the guy at number two on this list all right and for my number one player that i'm going to be targeting in the off season it's going to be luka Doncic. luka that franchise of course that owner they have it all, and their owner actually loves basketball. He's basically at every single game, and he loves the game, and he's sitting front row, court side. So shout out to Mark Cuban for being the biggest super fan of his own team. But yeah, Luka Doncic is going to be the number one guy on my list. So for Luka Doncic, we're going to be looking at his 2018 Optic Base PSA 10. Luka, obviously the Mavericks. This team is exciting. They got Kristaps Porzingis. This team is going to be fun to watch. And if I know anything about their owner, Mark Cuban, he loves, 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 loves the game of basketball. He's always wanting to put a winner out there. So I don't think... It will be very long before he can get this team right back into the finals. Let's take a look at his stats because last season he was great. 28.8 points, 9.4 rebounds, and 8.8 .8 assists. I mean, that's, that's very, very good. That's like LeBron James stat line numbers. That's very good. No, I'm not making a comparison between him and LeBron, but they're very good stats. You cannot deny that. Let's scroll down, take a look at his three-month trend. If you take a look back here on 714, $520 for this one. And then at its peak, it sold for $1,276. Box. That is quite some cheddar and its most recent sale, according to Card Ladder, $645. So that is a rate of growth at 24%, obviously spiking right there in August. So what do we take away from this graph? In my opinion, 168 total sales over three months. He is a bought and sold commodity much like trey young not quite as many sales but you gotta remember trey young swaggy young was doing nutty things in the bubble so it it stands to reason he would have a higher amount of sales but i really do think luca is going to be kind of a generational talent right up there with Giannis. Obviously, he needs his rings. He needs his rings. So don't jump on me in the comment section and say, wow, he's a crazy man. But I do believe that Luka is a great, great player. And I do believe because of who the owner is out there in Dallas, he's going to have them 
in playoff contention, in championship contention, sooner than later. And all things for the Mavericks are pointing in the right direction. And for that reason, he is the number one player on today's list. All right, so that does it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. Five cards to target this offseason for basketball. Really excited. Can basketball cards do what they did during the shutdown and everything? We'll see. We'll see. There's definitely some opportunities to be made and some money to be made. So because of that, I'm really excited moving forward. All things considered, I think this season was a success. An entire year. It was a full year. The entire calendar passed by from preseason to the sixth game of the NBA Finals. So I'm really excited, though, for next year. I appreciate you guys. If you guys did enjoy this video or got any entertainment out of it at all, make sure to smash that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and, of course, the post notification bell icon. Hit me up on Twitter and Instagram if you want to chat more. And, of course, drop a comment if you want to talk, chat, chop it up, whatever you want to do in the comment section. Let me know. Who are you guys going to be picking up? Let me know in that comment section. And, as always, keep cracking packs, keep collecting. I will see you all in the next one.